The spooky month of October is just around the corner. Ooh, I get chills just thinking about all the freaky films I'm going to watch. So I thought I would get ahead of it and watch the brand new exclusive Apple Plus film called Wolves. Sounds like I'm in for a bone chilling time, right? Wrong. It's not a scary movie. It's actually a buddy road trip comedy starring Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Looks like Danny Ocean got some of the gang back together, but this time they're not robbing a casino. They're hiding a dead body. Let's talk briefly about wolves. First of all, I hate that this is an Apple Plus exclusive. I hate all streaming exclusives. It's getting annoying because they just kind of come out of nowhere. I saw this trailer in the theaters and I thought, oh, this could be cool. This could be fun. Then I realized it was already out on streaming and it went to theaters for just a week, very selectively meaning like 10 theaters, and that was it. But I did sit down and watch this hour 45 R-rated film, thinking to myself, yeah, this is what mediocrity looks like. Not incredibly bad, not ultimately very good. It's just there. And this is one where going into it, you probably should be a fan of Clooney and Pitt. They're not gonna win over new generations with these performances. They're very settled in their roles. Not bad, they're just kind of doing their shtick. Clooney's the, the wise sage character who's been in the game for a long time. And while Pitt is definitely competent, he keeps that more in his pocket for later. He, he comes off as more, not aloof, but you know, just kind of devil may care, laissez-faire approach to everything. But I am getting ahead of myself. Let's pump the brakes. What's this film all about? Well, it is incredibly simple. So simple that it should have been a tight 90 minutes, and I think this would have gone down a lot better instead of pushing out that extra 15. A prominent politician named Margaret, played by Michael Scott's wife, gets in over her head when her gentleman of the night accidentally slips off the side of the bed, smacks his head, presumed dead. That all rhymed and it wasn't intentional. Let's keep going. She has this super duper secret number to call, which is gonna bring a cleaner over to the place and make all of this bad night go away. Enter George Clooney's character, whose name we will never find out. She called him, he arrives, he's ready to get going on things, he's got it all figured out, and right before he starts, but Brad Pitt enters the picture. Who is called to the scene by a mystery person who we never see, but I'm pretty sure the voice was Susan Sarandon. I know a Sarandon sound when I hear it. It's like a bird call, but we do not see her, which is odd also. She's not credited on IMDb that I could find. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that was enough research for me to put into this. So the rest of the movie is gonna be these two knuckleheads having to work together to get rid of this body that's still <laughs> very much alive. They gave that away in the trailer. That would have been a fun reveal. Now I said this movie's incredibly mediocre. If you like Brad Pitt, if you like Clooney, they're up to their old tricks. They're just a little bit more grizzled, maybe a little bit slower to the draw with some of the dialogue, but that's also these characters. And so in that extent, they're doing fine. They're just, I don't see characters. I just see Clooney. I just see Pitt. And they're perfectly fine and doing the job correctly. This script though, not great. How this story plays out gets worse and worse as it goes with a terrible ending. Just absolutely dreadful final act. But there is fine comedy here, very formulaic comedy. You've probably seen another movie starring these two people. If you're looking for action, there's a very, 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 very long chase scene in the middle. It just never ends. I'm like, when is it going to end? It's on foot, but Clooney's the guy driving the car. Brad Pitt's running after this dude. And they're running through a mall, and George Clooney's driving like seven miles out. They keep cutting back between the runners and then Clooney, who's going like 85 miles an hour. There's no cops anywhere in this damn city. And I'm just thinking, where is Clooney going? Is he meeting up with this dude four days from now when he jumps on a plane and heads out of town? It's rated R and that's pretty much only for swearing. There is blood early on, but outside of that, not much going on. Just, just flipping each other off and calling each other names, that, that kind of thing. You know, really highbrow stuff. On the positive side, you have these two guys, this duo is back, and they are still having fun, and they're putting in a fine job. You also have a couple pretty creative moments, like when Clooney is trying to dispose of the body and how he gets him in a bag and out of this hotel room. That was clever, that was fun to watch, but this is not a reason to go get Apple Plus, I'll tell you that right now. And if you have Apple Plus, I don't even know if it's a reason to watch it. It's just something there 
I guess, if you like these two. If you're younger or don't care about Brad Pitt and George Clooney, there's no reason to watch this thing. Cinematography, music, it's all here. It's all just flat, mediocre across the charts. As I was talking about this movie, I wanted to quickly check out the budget because I thought for sure this is a smaller scale movie. It's probably, you know, 80 million on the high end. This was a $200 million project. Is this money where is the money coming from and where the hell do they think it's gonna go how do they think they're gonna get a return on that investment 200 million dollars for this are you out of your fucking mind hollywood apple plus whoever's doing this it's insane it's absolutely insane but that's uh yeah that's what it costs a 200 million dollar absolutely mediocre at best outing what a waste of money and everyone's time and talent that's wolves and you can check it out on apple plus just in time for the scary month of october Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's right it's not 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 scary well those are my thoughts on wolves let me hear yours in the comments below did you watch this movie already did you like it more than i did did you hate it more than i did i'd love to hear from you please think about subscribing to the channel adam does movies it's right here and hit the notification bell so these show up in your feed i don't know if the bell's up there but that's how these really show up in the feed subscribing is not enough these days you have to hit that notification bell if you love my channel and you want to support it somehow Please think about becoming a member on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I have a bunch of different tiers there, and I'm announcing some fun stuff in a video after this one, so it might be the time to join. All right, hopefully I see you there. Take care. God, I rhymed again. What's happening?